You need three axes of CNC on a milling machine in order to turn parts, but I only have two. And then it hit me. Why don't you just turn the head on its side? Of course, you'll need something to hold the tools. The start of all good projects is making square things squarer. Close enough, it'll get straightened out later. I bet she's still got some life left in her. No, I never did get that bandsaw. Don't judge. Measure twice and drill once. It's actually easier to move the knee down than it is to adjust the depth stop on the quill, so I guess I'm going to have to get one of those clamp-on finger things. I didn't want to start this way, but Fusion 360 made me do it. Is steel supposed to turn black?
Go, little Endo. Nope. Out of desperation, I was able to find that stub in mill I was looking for earlier, and I changed the toolpath in fusion to be a little, well, better. Have you figured out what we're making yet? That's what I call precision. It only fits one way. Try the old laser eyeball. And then the edge finder. Bracket done. Since I don't trust my programming skills, I'm gonna go the old fashioned way and do some transfer punching. And I don't have a transfer punch set. Don't judge. Yes, that's a CNC project in the background. Yes, I'm using it as a table. And yes, I'll get back to it. I still maintain this is a perfectly valid clamping strategy. I also don't have any cant twist clamps. Don't judge. See, it's fine.
Now that it's bolted to the table, I can mill off any unsquareness from the top, no measurement necessary. I added a couple dowel pins on the side so that the tool holder wouldn't move when you tightened it down. It has a tendency to turn clockwise as you tighten down that bolt. Oh yeah. I'm installing this on the far right side of the table, that way I can use it and keep the vise in its position in the center of the table. Just make sure it's square before I tighten it down. Well, let's try it out. Of course, there are a few disadvantages to using a mill like this. For one, I can't have a tailstock because there's nothing for the tailstock to sit on. And I also can't do any threading because I can't control the spindle speed. I still think it's cool. So there we go, a lathe tool holder for the mill. Now I just need some decent tool holders. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.